Shalom, all. giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakutaj. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom all to the sincere and hopeful alike. You brothers out there that's prophesying about the times we're in and the times we're headed to. In the true name and the true doctrine for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's your brother Kudash Paya. And I just wanted to record uh, myself, you know, going into this dream that I had, a vision, if you will, um, this morning. And it was, it was consistent. It was a consistent dream. It was a lot going on, but uh, it started off when I, I, I was in a hospital. And there was a lot of people at a hospital. It was a real big hospital, like the size of a mall. And uh, they made us wear these, these like black vest looking thing um, with their logo on it. And um, everything was, you know, everything was calm at the moment until doctors just started giving shots, right? Um, and slowly but surely, people started finding out that it, they, the, doc, the doctors was giving people, a patients, uh, RFID chips in the shots, but they weren't telling them. And so when I went, it was my turn to see the, to see the doctor or whatever. And um, she ended up, she was about to in, insert the needle in me and I, and I, happened to ask, you know, is this the chip, you know, and she said, yeah, so when she said, yeah, I basically dipped out, you know, uh, she didn't, I wasn't really tied up or anything, I just, I just, I just dipped out, man, and then that's when chaos started breaking loose, people figured it out, they started, you know, chasing them, they were chasing them, and um, people got caught. Some people didn't get caught, you know, but everywhere I ran, there was somebody there. Like, every shortcut I took, every turn I made, there was fucking somebody there. And um, I was just on the run. In the beginning, it was just me, but I was just, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, Lord, you know, please make a path for me, please. And, um, I found a path, and I just got up out of there. But it didn't end, because when I left the hospital, right, there was no, there was no money system no more. It was all strictly a bargain system. And people were, if you ever seen the movie, The, um, the Walking Dead, it was like those kind of rules. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, you know, running, you know, I kept ending up in different places, right? So I'm over here trying to escape. You know, there was a window. So I'm still, I'm still in the hospital, but I found a path, but I there's a window and going down, I had to slide down because like the building was like connected to a big ass rock. So I had to slide down, and I knew it was going to be a little steep jump. And I'm just like, oh, shit. You know, and eventually I got up out of the hospital, and I'm out of the hospital for sure now. And um, I'm running, and I end up at, at in this building, like in a building, and there was people there, you know, and they ended up trying to capture me too. Right? I guess I wasn't supposed to be there. And I was their property. They were hiding out, I guess, as well. Because people were running from this shit, yo. People were really running for this. From this. And, um... So they tried to capture me. I guess kill me. So I took... Like, I met a little boy. Uh, uh, his mom. And, and, and the little boy was trying to hide me. He was, like, not hide me. But he was, like, being discreet. And I'm just like, shh, don't say nothing. Like, don't say I'm here. That didn't work out. They tried to 
killed me, so I had to, ended up running. And um, I ended up in his cave, right? And there was people there. But, like, it was a crazy dark cave. I couldn't know where it was going. But then it caved in. The cave caved in. Just started coming down. And then it, it kind of separated me. And I ended up with, like, a couple of other fellows. I don't know how. Right? So we're trapped in. And we're taking rocks apart. We see a little hole, a little gap. Some people's like, oh, right here. Oh, no, over here. But I was telling them, be careful. Because you taking out these big rocks, this joint just collapsed. You could, you could make your cave in more. And then we'll all be screwed. But eventually we found a gap, a hole. We seen people on the other side. But then we... You know, we ended up getting out the cave. Then I ended up, it was just like a, 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 just a run. I was basically just on a run, you know? We ended up in a city downtown. It looked like, like, like a, like a Dallas kind of city. Or, or Chicago, like one of those. But there was nobody around. Right? And, um, I had people with me. I guess we was on a run together. You know? And then, uh, I'm just trying to remember more dream as I go on. Like, I literally just woke up. Um, I had to do the video because I didn't want to forget. But, we ended up looking at this spot. It was like a little store. But there was a lot of food. And we're just like, oh shit, we're grabbing food. We're, we're walking around. You know, scoping the area. And, they, and there we go, there was people there again. But there was people living there. It was another cave. Not a cave, but like... Kind of like tunnels, if you will. People had beds, people had rooms, separated, right? But upstairs, outside, they were they they ran like a little food uh uh store. Like it was a it was pro it was like once a store, right? And so they called us, and we're like shit, you know. They end, we ended up getting separated. And I ended up with my daughter next to me. Right? And they were gonna kill her. And I'm just like holding her in her hand. And I'm like, nah, nah. You know, what are you doing? Like, what this gotta do with her? And uh, she had like a big fucking log, like from a tree. No, them shit is heavy. She was gonna dash on the head with it. And I'm just telling her, nah, no. You ain't, you ain't taking her out. And she said something about a, a, it being a mental effect. Like it's, it's in your mind. At the moment, I'm like, nah, fuck you. She didn't kill her though. Eventually, we ended up going they were like, you know what? We'll pardon you. We'll pardon her. They were going to pardon me, but they weren't going to kill her. But then they ended up pardoning both of us. Right? They were like, you know what? It's cool. Uh, you guys take a room. And um, the fellows that I was with, they just ended up like, I don't know. I, I know they were good, but I just didn't see them afterwards because I woke up. I was in the room and it looked like a cave, man. And there was a bed, there was a table. The little one fell asleep. She was so tired from running. I looked out the window. I'm just thinking, like, all right, what's next? Where do we go? 
That's when I woke up. And every time I ran, I ended up in one place. People were there. Then they, they wanted to kill me. I, I ended up running from another, from that place to another place, to here, to there. Just like a pilgrim, like the scriptures say, we shall be pilgrims. You know, and um, it just felt so real, man. I mean, like, just even in the hospital when we was running, the people that were there that was so cool in the beginning just ended up chasing me. And I ended up in, in one floor, they ended up in another floor, in one room. You just hear them running back and forth. It was just bizarre. Because they weren't telling nobody they were giving them the chip. They were just giving it to them. And there was some thick fucking needles. Like the, 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 the injector was husky. It, it was... That's so how I figured, like, yo, this ain't no I regular, regular needle. It's not a regular shot. So in a dream, I had to ask. Oh, and, and also, what I had on in the hospital, while I was outside, that's what they was trying to kill me, too, because they seen that I came from the hospital. It looked like a vest with a white skull on it, skull and bones. And I took it off. But I didn't know where to put it at, at, at the moment. Because when I ran, I ran in, in, this, in this person's apartment. And the kid was there. But he didn't want to say shit. He was like, he was helping me hide. But I tucked it in. Bang. Because I knew in the dream, I already knew. Once they saw that, they was going to try to kill me. I eventually threw it out. But then I ended up on a roof. Just like, damn, how am I going to get out of here? You know, and the scriptures speak about how people are going to run, flee to the mountains, flee here. You know, troops is going to come and chase people. Doctors, quarantining people, you can't leave the hospitals. Like, it was just, it was, it just felt real, and that's what's going to happen, you know? That's why the scriptures say, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, because he's the only one that's going to give us refuge. He's the only one, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, who you, the world ignorantly called God, his real name in the Hebrew is he is, so he exists. Bashim means in the name. Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Jesus Christ, his real name in the Hebrew is he's the deliverer. Because he's going to deliver his men, his elect, his women, children, helpers, the elect, one third. To escape out of this, this judgment, this hell, this hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble that we're about to enter. The pieces is coming together. This is all prophecy. Got to get worse before it get better. But this dream was so consistent and felt so long. And um, I woke up, but I was in this cave in this room with a bed. With a... I really had food. My little daughter, she was on the bed. She fell asleep. She looked dirty. And I was all a mess. Just on a run, man. People was with me, then people escaped. People wanted to kill me. People was chasing me. <sighs> We're coming to a time where you need the Lord. If not, you're going to be fucked. Whether you take the chip or not, if the Lord is not with you, then, then he's against you. You don't want the Lord to be against you. I just wanted, I just wanted to uh, bring this video out. Didn't really have no scripts in mind. I just, you know, went off top through the spirit. And um, this is what's coming, man. This is, you, you watch my videos, you watch the apostles' videos, you watch brothers' videos. This is what we're talking about, what's coming. 
It's not. It's not going to be a dream anymore. It's going to be reality. If you don't got the Lord with you. Felt so real, man. This should really humble you. You know, to those got ears to hear and eyes to see. <laughs> These people don't understand what's coming to them. That's so why the Lord set up men right now to prophesy about these, te these things coming, to warn you before it happens. Prophesying, that's what that means. Anyway, with that, man, I'm just still trying to remember more as I continue talking. Um, I pretty much said it all. And, um, Just know, man, the people, people that you think is cool, they hit. When it's a life or death situation, those people you think is cool with you, they're going to be the ones chasing you to kill you. So they could fucking eat. Or they could rat you out thinking that the guards is... But those people was on the run too, so I don't think they're going to... It's... it's, it's <laughs> It's going to be survival of the fittest, man. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom on to you sincere brothers out there. It's prophesied about the times we're in and the times we're headed to. In the true name and the true doctrine for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord is coming back. Shalom.